Hey, it's Ruby and Alex, and we're here with the Beaches. Yeah. Hi. Hey, hey, guys. Hi. You guys have a new EP out, The Professional. Tell us about it. Yeah, we're super excited. Um, we actually just recorded this EP in California right before we left for our tour with Passion Pit. Um, we did it with Jack Knife Lee, who's like our dream producer, dream collaborator, and uh, we're really happy with the final result. Yeah, it's really exciting. So our last album that we put out is sort of a collection of four years worth of material. And with the exception of Lame on The Professional, all of the songs were written and produced within like the last six months. So it's all new stuff, fresh. Mm -hmm, new energy, which is great. Mm -hmm. Okay, very cool. I wanted to read uh, just a little piece from your press release here. It says, from eschewing unwanted male attention to elevating the women they admire, each song builds a specific and still relatable world for the listener. I couldn't help but take a little away from that. Do you guys have weirdness sliding into your DMs? Is oh, that what's yeah. happening? Uh, we've got a lot of weirdness. We got rid of uh, Facebook Messenger, so we were getting a lot of weird stuff there. It brings like a weirder audience. Facebook, Facebook. Messenger. Yeah. yeah. Mm. There's a lot of weird stuff. Like, a lot can of weird I come on tour and massage your feet? Yeah. And then send us pictures <laughs> of their no. feet? Like, <laughs> do you want massage? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this person doesn't understand personal space or massages. No. Yeah. Or feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have there been any clever attempts or not at all? Um, I don't think it's ever cle yeah. clever. <laughs> no, it's just, oh, I don't know, you experience mm. more. I don't know. I don't, the one you got where it's like, how does it feel to have sex with a rock star? Oh, yeah. And I was like, I wouldn't I would know. <laughs> no. <laughs> to ask my other <laughs> men. Not me. That's a good response, though. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I wouldn't know. Um, and Alex and I are brother and sister, so yeah. people always ask us. They're like, how can you guys work with your sibling? But you guys have siblings in the band. Yeah, so yeah we're sisters. What's it like to share this with your sister? It's, like, super fun. I mean, we started the band like we've never not been in a band together like we haven't really done individual projects so we don't really know anything else but like I love it it's like yeah, a really me too. interesting dynamic <laughs> how, do <you> feel? <laughs> yeah. how do you guys feel about it no it's it's great I mean on the because your family I mean there's there's nothing that you could say to each other that would you know ruin the relationship and we always have each other's back uh but I think we're all sort of sisters at this point, too. You know, it's not mm -hmm. just. But, like, Jordan can throw Kylie off of a bed where she, like, <laughs> smacks her head on the frame and cries well, you under the bed. This. And they're still okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. No, you didn't, I didn't realize how light she was. It was an accident. <laughs> That's the weird get thing about, my bed. about siblings. I don't even think you'd get in trouble for that. No. If, like, no. the police came, no. they'd be like, no, nope, they're sisters. So yeah. The next day, it was, like, absolutely fine. We were on tour, and we had been driving for, like, three days. It, it was just... quite the toss. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. Like, if she threw me off a bed, we wouldn't talk for the week. I don't know. Sometimes you just need a good toss. <laughs> <laughs> that is so great. Uh, and you guys are opening for the Rolling Stones this summer. Yeah. What? Yeah. How does that feel? Insane. Crazy, yeah. dreamlike. Pretty crazy. Yeah. It doesn't feel real. No. Yet. <laughs> Even like posting the poster, I was like, is that our name on the poster? With mm -hmm. the tongue? <laughs> With the tongue. <laughs> Yeah, out of all the bands in the world, it's like one of the most known. Like your parents will know, your grandparents will know. Yeah. Everyone on, on earth knows who they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now you guys are equal to the Rolling Stones. How does that feel? <laughs> well, now it's grandparents will know I would us. not say that we're equal. <laughs> well, but, you know, maybe one day. <laughs> no, to even like share a stage with them is absolutely incredible. I don't think any of us ever thought that we'd we'd be there. But it's we're so excited and we're so nervous <laughs> we're so grateful for the opportunity yeah and which one of you do you think will live to be 104 <laughs> probably kylie because she's yeah. the healthiest okay. <laughs> i kylie. feel like it's gonna be jordan yeah no, you could me. totally be the key no though. you know yeah. why it's gonna be jordan because jordan wants to die young she doesn't That's want well, to uh, live sorry maybe no, I, don't. <laughs> <laughs> jordan, no, I don't jordan yeah. before she gets sick and starts to suffer and get like old and great she just doesn't want to have to deal with that right just right. yeah You've said it. It's what you. It's your thought. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good thought. I don't want to die early. <laughs> For all you never putting that out there now. All you weirdos on Facebook that are messaging and stuff. She doesn't want to die early. No, no, no. She wants For to be here. As long as her body will kick it. But like she stays up all night, every night, and yeah. 
I don't know how you do it. Oh, no, I'm, I have a very unhealthy life. She doesn't eat yeah. any fruit. I, I think she has scurvy at this point. <laughs> okay, now we're Sorry, just getting okay. into it. <laughs> we're going to back it up. <laughs> yes. But in rock star terms, though, that does mean that you're going to live the longest. Yeah. And That's what I mean. She's the key. you have to donate your body to science. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She is the key. Like, look at me. We'll see, I guess. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to <laughs> test oh, this stuff out. Only time will tell. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you know, Elton John is a fan of you guys. You open for the Foo Fighters. You're opening for the Rolling Stones. I mean, what's left on the list? Anything? What do you want to do? I mean, I think like as a band, we really want to just like tour as much as possible. We love playing shows. We really want to get over to the UK and play like Europe and just like reach as many people as we can. Yeah, I mean, that's this the is, dream. I don't think we always, you know, approach career goals or like goals at all because you know we got into this just as like a fun thing to do with your friends and I think that's still sort of what it's all about for us just playing music with your friends so cool. whatever happens will be great because we're always gonna have fun together wow. that is uh, beautiful well, my heart well check out the professional it's out now the beaches thanks so much for coming in you guys thank, thank, you, thank you for having us, us.